वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग हियर आई एम सो हैप्पी टू बी सर्विंग यू ऑल टूडे सो गाइज दिस इज अ जनरल रीडिंग फॉर द माइन एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल साइन ऑफ मंकी ओके दिस इज फॉर द साइन ऑफ मंकी नाउ यू हैव टू सेपरेट साइंस इन माइन एस्ट्रोलॉजी वन इज योर डे साइन एंड वन इज योर ट्रिकॉना साइन सो यू आर सपोज टू वॉच बोथ द साइंस सो दैट यू गेट द होल idea of what your life purpose is all right and i will be posting all the sign life purpose readings here all the mayan astrology sign life purpose readings on my channel so you can check it all out it will be in the playlist below all right so let's see my loves uh, what is your life path as a monkey okay you are a person who can't help be creative you definitely shine a light in people's lives in people's darkness i feel like you are this uh, person who brings hope in the darkest of hours okay you are the shining light but you also have a very wise quality to you so you will get along very well with owls i'm getting owls or um or you might have owl in your chart as a mayan astrology sign you know or there can be some someone significant in your life as an owl interesting but uh, apart from that i am getting that you can't help but get um, attention on you sometimes okay but you can also be like a clown act silly in front of people make people laugh take things lightly you know you don't try to uh, impose things upon people is what i'm getting you're very easy going you're very open minded that way you know uh but also there's there's a sense within you that is very very curious you know very very curious about what's happening um why is this person this way what makes a person tick you know there's a lot of psychological curiosity towards people uh for my monkeys okay but you guys really attract a crowd you guys are very easily um very easily you guys can attract a crowd you might have leo in your chart somewhere I'm sorry I'm taking some time to shuffle because these cards were not shuffled properly. So yes my loves, uh monkeys, what else do I have? So yes, there's a wise quality to you of course. There's a sense of uh sometimes shutting down from people, you know, because it gets too much for you. And the energy just becomes like uh too much, you know, so you need to rest and recharge and recuperate is what I'm getting. Okay? So let me just separate this. All right, my loves. Let's see. So, what is the life path of the monkey people in the Mayan astrology sign? What are the monkeys meant to learn in this lifetime? For my monkeys, what are the monkeys meant to learn in this lifetime? Gossip. interesting awakens consideration for the feelings of others honoring trust okay so i'm getting that initially in your life um there were people around you in your life you know in your past in your childhood or wherever whenever i'm getting that you have dealt with people who really like love gossiping or who love talking behind other people's back or like you you have grown up around people who just love poking their nose in other people's business and that could cause you to be like that or you to have dealt with your own character which has become like that because of this uh, specific influence around you since your childhood okay but apart from that i'm getting that uh, you have dealt with people who thrive on the power of passing on private or secret information okay and you have dealt with people who betray confidences li like literally right so this is talking about like people who really don't um, have a high vibration but are on a very low vibration when it comes to talking about other people talking about how they are doing while they don't have anything to do themselves so it's like you might have developed this ability of um or a distortion that you are supposed to know everything about a person to be able to share it with other people and take advantage of that fact okay but 
uh, for you as uh, within your life journey you're meant to transcend this you're meant to awaken consideration for the feelings of others okay you're meant to awaken that empathy that once you share something uh, secretive that somebody has trusted you and told you and you're sharing it with someone who this person wouldn't trust or wouldn't allow you to say to you know um, that that really creates a very heavy negative karma on you okay so always know that if you're doing something like that you're indulging in something like that that it is a part of your karmic debt that you will also have to experience through humiliation is what i'm getting i'm getting leo energy so some of you definitely have leo in your chart you have gemini or virgo as well in your chart okay in the english astrology or tropical astrology but apart from that um you know you are meant to honor other people's trust you are meant to keep other people's trust and not lose faith in yourself and trust yourself also because there are times when you don't even trust your own judgment and you don't even trust your own self because you have dealt with such um untrustworthy people in the past okay like you couldn't trust these people at all in your life especially since your childhood right so for my monkeys you have dealt with a lot of gossip you have heard people gossip about you and that has made you into an avid gossiper now this could be something that you uh, do personally or this could be like um other people do a lot around you and you have to deal with it too much but there's a reason you're dealing with it because there's a shadow within you that needs to see that in order to heal that aspect of yourself okay so let's see my love so very hard for you to trust others okay monkeys that is one of your major life lessons and life paths to learn how to trust others and honor others trust let's see what else for my monkeys i'm getting you have had friends who have also been like bullied like who have bullied you in the past is what i'm getting okay and they've spread like massive uh, rumors about you like which are not even true and even in your school life or whenever or this could be you being scared of gossip as well because maybe you are in the limelight you're famous and you know people talking behind your back so you've had to steer clear from it but at the same time you've dealt with people in your family who are like that tell me about the monkey please prince interesting and then we have detective in reverse wow okay so i'm going to keep the detective inside if it comes out again it comes out again but we'll see how it correlates so the next card out is prince it says romantic charm and potential for power okay now with this energy of not being able to trust others i feel like maybe you have one special friend that you like you know always judge other people with like because you have dealt with such a dynamic in your past in your childhood that you know two people used to gossip about you and maybe bully you a little bit so you have developed this connection with a best friend or somebody who is very close to you and you talk like shit about other people with them and this person talks shit about uh, other people to you but then again there could be this energy that you talk about talk shit about this person who is close to you to other people as well and this person who is like your best friend talk shit about you as well so it's like there's no trust in what according to what i'm getting okay and i'm getting that if you are rich like i was saying that if you're rich you could be scared of gossip or you could be scared that you know um people will uh, people have certain negative agendas against you so you have this exterior um mask that you wear of a prince you know of a prince charming or you know you show that you have a lot of power or you hold a lot of power within a position or within um, a dynamic or within a business within a family within a relationship you tend to mask yourself as a prince you know and sometimes you use that power that you get as a prince and that power you get from money or from a good background of your family and rich background of your family for self aggrandizement right so very important for you to understand like what are you giving your energy to are you giving it to the right things or are you just um you know getting lost within the toxicity of your childhood again and again right now with the detective card i'm getting that um definitely you observe a lot but like you are always seeking for the truth but you know there could be this sense of like you you having a tendency to like kind of be a voyeurist so maybe you love like uh, knowing about hacking skills or knowing shortcuts or loopholes into things i'm getting uh, loopholes or i'm getting not following the system so unconventional ways of hacking or um 
watching people without them knowing and telling on people without them knowing but telling their confident secrets or like uh, like not confident secrets i don't know why i said confidence i'm just channeling right now but yeah you could falsify information is what i'm getting like you could falsify information about someone and you can say certain false things in order to create gossip and create some entertaining subject to talk about because you are a person who loves talking or you are very curious as a person okay and there's a reason that you have developed like this you know um it's to understand that you have to honor other people's trust but you can also be romantic and you can have the power within you but not use the power for hurting others trust you know for using it for the right causes like using their material to help them to assist them that is what you're meant to do with this monkey archetype right i'm getting you have a lot of creativity within you but it's also hidden like you don't even realize your own creative potential and uh, because of such people that you have surrounded yourself with i'm getting that people you surround yourself with have not really progressed that much or they are not progressive minded you are more open minded than people who are surrounded who surround you basically okay and okay at the bottom of the deck we have added look at that so you will definitely be dealing with addictions in your lifetime addictions to people food substances alcohol um sex mm -hmm. physical intimacy or um, kind of keeping emotions at bay like you could be addicted at manipulating other people's emotions and keeping it at bay from you okay with your aggression and force and passion i'm getting you could be an aries leo sag fire signs again i'm getting but yeah uh you know you might have dealt with addictive parents as well in the past like when you were young you were dealing with uh, people or parents with addictions you're meant to experience these things okay my love so that you can transcend the addictions so that you can transcend the addictions right so yes uh, because of this you could sometimes compromise your integrity and honesty right look at that so because you have dealt with such gossipy parents or gossipy people around you from your childhood or even in your dynamics i'm getting gemini energy um virgo energy as well um libra energy uh, you have dealt with so much gossip that um it has become like an addictive pattern uh, that has authority over your inner spirit that you always compromise your integrity and honesty okay so your integrity and your and your honesty will constantly be tested in this lifetime and the more you lie the more you cheat the more you create drama and gossip about other people um, you know just in vain just to create some entertainment for yourself because you have to be entertaining as a prince you can't be just a dull boring personality you have to be a prince you have to be entertaining so if you try to do that like it it is going to be negative and it's going to backfire on you okay so yeah that will that will be like a pure karmic debt so it's important that you don't uh, go behind people's backs and try to record them i'm getting that some of you because you're rich you are very paranoid and you record other people or um there's the sense of not feeling secure okay of um, what are people serving me like what are people serving me are they, are they giving me like healthy water or are they like um putting magic in my water like you know is it some priest or priestess who's trying to like there's a lot of paranoia that's coming in uh with this energy okay because it's very hard to trust anyone so with this and with the amount of wealth that you possess it can be easy to fall into the shadow of you know trying to um like record the opposite sex while they don't know about it or um there could be this sense of uh, looking into people's history looking into people's past and trying to dig out information and uh, talk about it with other people without even asking for the permission like you know you don't like asking for permission you just like going for the jugular is what i'm getting interesting interesting but apart from that you know you are meant to awaken uh, other people and awaken them to not you know spread such false rumors um awaken your own charm your own power and you you're meant to have great powers of observation and intuition okay your intuition is supposed to work with you not against you here your emotions are supposed to work with you but you suppress your emotions is what i'm getting or you suppress your desire to seek out the truth okay because you're so like um like you're so influenced by this energy okay all right monkey so let's see I'm getting that you would be great at like um writing gossip about people or like being like a publisher or something 
or having a channel of yourself where you post gossip about like rich people or what they do like you would be really good at like picking out the dirt from them or like that if that's what you want to do you know like i'm just giving you ideas about what you can do because you're very entertainment oriented and very entertainment focused you want the attention of others to what you're saying because you're a very talkative person okay and you're very curious at the same time so you always like to know what the other person like even when you walk in the room or in the party it's like you understand the you you want to understand the motives behind why people why this person is talking to this person what might be the body language of this person i'm getting you read like body language or you love face reading you want to read people's faces uh you love documentaries about like a detective or drugs or na- narcos i'm getting narcos some of you love narcos mm-hmm. interesting let's see what's coming up for the life path of monkey what is the monkey meant to learn ace of cups that's all about love overwhelming amount of emotions offered to you but five of cups look at the stark conta- contrast here right my loves so with the lotus here the lotus it symbolizes purity it symbolizes pure love it symbolizes universe handing you a gift of love you know that this is the cup you have the cup run it over you can use it for your own betterment you can love yourself enough or you can you know give it away to others and expect others to return it when you will always be disappointed and i'm getting that you have always done the opposite like you have always uh, tried to get love from someone else through your drama or bringing drama into the situation or bringing gossip into the situation okay although you have a lot of charm you have a lot of potential for power right but you have dealt with people who have also started like if you have a lot of integrity from your childhood but you have dealt with people who have always gossiped and you you have maintained your integrity i'm getting that these people are never happy that you will ever get on with your life you know your past will always keep dragging you back into that hole unless and until you leave this environment completely or leave these people completely who do these things with you okay so spirit is like with five and uh, ace of cups it's like this is very emotional for you this journey is about um understanding your own emotional nature monkeys okay understanding what disappoints you what scares you what makes you feel vulnerable what makes you feel like you're completely in the dark like you don't know what's going to happen next you're disappointed that you know nobody loves you nobody's fond of you nobody cares about you um you know that delusion that you are in i know there could be some grief that you have experienced in your past okay that is why you have this thriving energy of um feeling like you know you have to have that power to be able to move on and pass on secret information but i'm getting that you have only made people disappointed with this nature that you have you have only made people cry so it's time to change that path for yourself as well okay like try to uh, look at the brighter side of life try to look at the brighter side of emotions don't think that every emotional beginning is going to lead to disappointment i'm getting that you always believe um that any thing that you do purely out of your heart is going to suffer like or you it's going to make you suffer emotionally and mentally physically but mostly emotionally okay you are emotionally like your emotional body is damaged okay and you are meant to transcend that my loves okay so let's see what else for my monkeys two of pentacles in reverse yeah it's like it's 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 gotten so heavy for you that now you are all, almost on the verge of giving up on love on um you know taking things forward emotionally like that is something of a major challenge for you tell me more about the monkeys seven of wands yeah you block love um, that's what you have decided in this lifetime that i'm going to block love i'm i'm going to stand up for myself um i'm going to decide that you know anything that comes my way that is of an emotional nature that i'm going to be extremely defensive about it i'm going to be ag- agile i'm going to be tactile with it i'm going to fight it off i'm going to um, do some kung fu on it i'm i'm getting like um i'm i'm going to karate kick that um that person who tells me that they're going to love me like i'm getting that you have developed like this hatred towards love like or this this disappointment in love and then grief in love of loss of the past has made you extremely like defensive towards people in general okay and world interesting so we have world interesting let's see tell me about the ace of cups 
yeah you are defensive against things that are meant to end in your life like you're meant to end it and i'm getting that there's a major ending uh of a previous cycle that has happened in your life okay a major ending with a relationship uh within a relationship a job or something where you have to um you know go on to the world level now you you are you want to conquer the world like you don't want to remain fixed on the your emotions but it's important to heal your emotions so that you can succeed in anything that you do okay so hermit that's beautiful hermit we have hermit then we have three of pentacles let's see what else what else two of pentacles tell me about two of pentacles in reverse okay two of pentacles in reverse is seven of cups interesting let's get two more cards please tell me seven of wands all right we have two cards here so first card out is mm -hmm. two of cups in reverse and six of wands okay i get it Hmm. okay so there's a major battle going on here my loves okay according to what i'm seeing in the cards with the hermit here this is talking about you going within to realize that there are things that have kept you in the dark there are people that have always kept you in the dark they have felt like um you know that, that there are times when they cannot predict you as monkeys you're very animated you're very creative but when you go into your shell you don't tell anybody what's going on in there okay you're very very secretive about your life in general i'm getting water energy so cancer pisces scorpio you might have it in your chart okay heavy i'm getting earth sorry i'm getting water energy heavy here <coughs> yeah it's true so cancer pisces scorpio but apart from that um since love has led to disappointments you have decided to fight love off okay and fight people off and fight women off who are egotistical in nature okay like you hate women who are like this like women who uh, show that they are independent and that they're solid you have developed a sort of not a hatred but in a way like you you just want to like kick them them down to the curb because you have experienced um people in your life or women in your life who have also gossiped since your past so you like project that your your past onto other people through the judgment okay through the lens of judgment you project your past on other people okay very much so it's you're meant to learn that not every person is the same every person has different personalities and you cannot expect the next person to be the same as the past person okay that is a, a delusion in itself so with hermit i'm getting that you know um definitely you have this ability to go within to meditate okay you have this ability to go become spiritual find the spiritual meaning to life collaborate with spiritual people with monks or become a monk yourself i'm getting that uh, if you want to do this you will get like amazing benefits out of it so um definitely go on this path because i feel like you have experienced a lot of love but sorrow in love you know that is why spirit is pushing you to find meaning okay and find meaning within your depression find meaning within uh, love itself that why can't you why didn't you ever have love in your life you know so that has led to a lot of depression and a lot of soul searching for you and through that soul searching you have met people who are like part of your soul group or a uh, part of your soul tribe okay who also know what you go through and what you feel through so it's a great path that you're going on keep going uh, regarding your spirituality uh, to heal your emotional body but apart from that i'm getting that um it's important that you don't confuse them with your past behaviors okay with the new people that you're collaborating with don't confuse them with your past behaviors of kicking them out when they are trying to help you when they are trying to provide options for you that this is what you can do this is what you can do and this is how you can be successful especially if it's a woman who is on top and giving you some advice it's like you despise that you want to kick that person away from authority or you just despise the fact that they can be there but you are not meant to change other people's destiny here. or you're just meant to take care of your own destiny okay and if you have such a hatred towards the opposite sex or towards towards the towards a male or a female whoever it is who is on power who is in power and you want to kick the people out of power then oh i'm getting that there could also be the sense of kicking the people who have taken advantage of people out of power as well okay so you want to like people who are on the power 
or seat of power try to confuse people and you want to kick such people out so that could be one of your missions as a prince to go as a prince and to bring out the gossip from these people okay that could be one of your life purposes as well but you have a lot of talents in you my loves okay you have multi you're multi-talented you are um very very um like you are multifaceted, you are multidimensional as a person, okay? So it's important that you don't kick your destiny to the curve, that you maintain uh, that sense of self-love for yourself, that you uh, accept that you are meant to be famous. I'm getting that you you are meant to be famous with so many talents that you have, uh, be it in your spiritual career, be it in your uh, intellectual career, or be it in your practical career, whatever it is, or be it as an artist. You are meant to conquer a lot in your life. You are meant to transform a lot of lives through your voice, through your poetry, poem, lyrics, uh, picture. I'm getting uh, photography. I'm getting shooting. Okay, so shooting. Um, movies with uh, great entertainment content is also what I'm getting or crime thrillers movies uh, made from books is also what I'm getting like that would be interesting if you get into that but whatever projects you're getting into you will have massive success okay so don't try to sabotage it by your own fears of success okay um, I'm getting that with two of cups upright this talks about like you know self reflection and reflecting on your past and understanding your own mistakes but um, in reverse I'm getting that yeah there's no belief in um, that you will ever find people who you can trust so you might as well go along with uh, people who sabotage you or who talk behind your back or who don't love you but who only use you for your resources or who only like there could be that emotional damage that is playing out through your life. So it's important that you don't get addicted to this pattern, that you shift that pattern of pushing people away, pushing the water away, pushing emotions away from you and kicking people away from you because you have the quality of a priest, okay? Uh, facilitates spiritual commitment, serves as a channel of spiritual energy. So you have this ability to be a visionary and to bring in a lot of channel downloads from spirit to the other people to help other people evolve okay so don't think so low of yourself is what I'm, i mean to say right my loves yes that was a heavy 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 reading but let's see um how can you surrender this okay how what can you do to surrender this level of mm -hmm. not feeling peace within yourself within your emotional body okay let's see my loves what are you doing that you need to surrender in order to be the best version of yourself as a monkey pertaining to the spread see look at that surrender outdated beliefs about yourself okay let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past i told you that you have a tendency to fixate on the past and you take that same projection of the past and project it onto new people who are into your life who don't even know you that well but you think that yeah this person might be like that person yeah this person might be like that person oh you know they, they did this so it must be because this person is exactly like that you know and there could be a lot of gossip because of that and that is a very outdated way of being okay and if you have dealt with such people then you have dealt with people who have outdated beliefs about themselves which is why they couldn't do anything in their life so they come to you and they gossip about shit because they never had anything good to do about in their life and they couldn't build a foundation for themselves a stable foundation for themselves okay so then you can own your power and soar in your life right so you want power i can see that romantic charm and potential for power you have the potential for power but how are you using how are you going to use that power that is how spirit is going to test you by making you extremely depressed in love how are you going to treat others when they really give you love so i'm getting that when you get love you have taken advantage of people in love Okay, and initially because you got taken advantage of it became like this tit for tat that now I'm going to demean everybody who comes in my way of giving me emotions because I know they're lying, right? They're only wearing a mask. They're just cheating me. They're just playing me. So I'll become this person who has a personal agenda, right? And I will try to spy on them and I will try to leak information on them. This is very dangerous, my loves, the path that you're walking on, okay? If this is you. And if this is other people you're dealing with, then that's because it is bringing out your own shadows, okay? And this, this, this is your shadow reading that I'm also getting. So let go of limiting ideas about yourself. You're not just this person who loves to gossip. You are not just this person who loves power. You are more than that. 
okay don't try to put yourself in a box and don't try to limit yourself that you know i'm only going to be i'm never going to believe in emotions because emotions are fake and they're not real like that is such an outdated belief about yourself that is such a primitive belief okay so tell me more what does the monkey need to surrender pertaining to the spread surrender to prayer yeah i'm getting like a huge denial with that yeah prayer frustration i feel like maybe you have tried in the past to pray and nothing happened from it so you just literally became like frustrated with it i'm also getting that you get frustrated um like i'm getting that people now there, this could be an opposite thing also where um if you have prayed in the past when you were a child you used to pray to god or you used to pray to angels i'm getting that your parents acted like very frustrated with you or very angry with you and this made you very like delusional about what prayers mean and what spirit guides are and it tainted your vision about uh, spirituality in general because of the background that you grew up in so it says give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive okay believe in yourself don't believe in other people's dogmas don't believe in other people's pragmatic views on life okay um believe in your own heart first okay that is the first card your heart is the first card out okay with universe handing you your heart this is your heart what are you going to do with it and you have just like um perpetuated your own sorrow my loves okay so right now is a time to like let go of any outdated beliefs that you hold uh, be it about prayer be it about spirituality be it about not accepting your own spiritual nature within yourself being ashamed of your spiritual nature don't let it go don't be so secretive about it that you know people will gossip about you that's a different thing that when you protect your ideas that's a different thing that's very sacred that you let the seed go in the ground in the dark let it bloom okay So yes uh and support and answers are arriving for you I'm getting the universe is hearing your prayer so if you have been praying to um heal from depression or heal um any kind of toxicity that has built up in your emotional body then you know universe is here and ready to provide you the support okay to let go of your uh, outdated beliefs about yourself so very important that you pray mm -hmm. so that you remove that characteristic from yourself and surrender frustration my loves frustration doesn't open any doors the key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly right so it's important that immediately when you see a situation arise that you don't start like sabotaging it or you start believing that it's going to go south or it's not going to go the way you want it to go or because it's not going to go that way then i'm going to have a hid hidden agenda and i'm going to make sure that i'm using my charm to get them to tell me their secret so that i don't have to be frustrated anymore about this person okay like i'm getting immediately you get triggered and you get frustrated with like oh my god i knew this this was going to happen this person was going to betray me and this has caused like such a huge cycle in your uh, mind that now you only believe in like getting betrayed okay so very very important for you to release that from yourself i'm getting uh yeah i'm getting that you, it's time to look at yourself look within you your heart okay and surrender to divine timing so with this i'm getting sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust in the universal flow okay there's a there's a good reason why universe delays certain things and you will only realize that eventually right but you get frustrated by waiting and it's like when you see people praying for things it's like you feel like laughing at them like oh my goodness are you serious you're going to pray about this um you know and maybe you've dealt with such people from the past that have doubted your spirituality is also what i'm getting right or doubted that you believe in divine timing and you believe in praying and things like that but still i'm getting don't give up your integrity for that okay that's very very important my loves all right so let's get an advice for you beautiful monkey signs let's see what is the advice so this is your path is to be frustrated with not being able to trust other people but transforming that okay transforming that into um having great observation skills i'm getting some of you could do some job in military you would be very good at military or uh, an athlete being an athlete i'm getting some of you um 
would definitely be uh, good within the law so justice system maybe you deal a lot with lawyers or you have a lot of lawyer friends or friends in the justice system is also what I'm picking up okay but yeah I'm getting that there's a lot of people who gossip about you and because of that you have learned to become very very curious about other people and um, sometimes that this creates an, uh, a situation which is off balance for you it becomes very hard for you my loves okay to manage so much gossip and rumors so tell me I'm getting that sometimes you also give them something to talk about like by doing something that people can talk about interesting so you do things that people can talk about so you create stories that people can like get entertained by or wow writing the story of your life or wow wow this is so interesting okay give me an advice pertaining to the spread pillar of light yes yes brother the brother in darkness overcoming negative energy with feminine power look at that my loves i was telling you and this i'm i was heavily picking up masculine energy in this reading okay so you are all mostly like masculine people watching this or oh divine sisterhood interesting three cards are out for you so the pillar of light divine sisterhood and temple of black obsidian Wow, that's like a lot of advice for you, my loves. But with the intuition and what I'm getting, look at the mirroring here. The same is the same uh, drawing is here as well. Pillar of light and dis divine sisterhood. Okay, descent of the star of Isis, and community of the spiritual sisters and brothers of the light. So you are meant to meet with your soul tribe who also resonates the same on the same level as you you're meant to work with partners you're meant to work with people you know hand in hand and going like holding their hand and moving along the way is what i'm getting okay and you're meant to look forward in life not to look backward i'm getting that you have been doing things the wrong way in like totality like every time you look at the past and you try to judge a present person from the past scenario you're doing it wrong you're building karma you're supposed to transform that as a monkey and sometimes a monkey can also be very immature it doesn't understand what he's doing right and also what he's capable of so you're meant to find your sisterhood your brotherhood your brotherhood of uh, the white light or the white sun or whatever it is okay you're meant to find that tribe of light okay because you are meant to become the pillar of light you're meant to become this pillar right so let's read this my loves for you a uh, pillar of light you're meant to be a pillar in people's lives okay that is why you have had to go through such challenges in your life that is your path is to be a pillar to be a support system for people who uh, really don't know how to support themselves okay and sometimes you have been overly generous also is what I'm getting you have been generous towards people but you have been generous towards the wrong people you got trapped within that same dynamic that you could not trust in other people okay you got trapped in these things is what I'm getting I'm also getting you've dealt with a lot of corruption in your life that's interesting okay pillar of light my loves I'm gonna read this so pillar of light Beings of light and divinity are calling you now. They wish to connect with you more strongly and you are being guided to strengthen your energy field to allow more of the divine light that seeks you to flow or seeks you to flow through your body safely and into expression. Beloved initiate, you are called to allow more divine energy and light to emanate from your body. To help build your light body so that the love and healing of cosmic feminine energies of the star of Isis can descend through you offering healing light and assistance to humanity and settling your own heart and soul on fire with divine love and passion. It is suggested that you first build and strengthen your natural pillar of light within your energy body, like building a broadband cable so that you can receive energy transmissions into your being more easily. Without such preparation, it would be like trying to run high voltage electricity through wires that were not equipped to handle it. I was telling you some hacking energies. Look at the electric wires this is talking about. Electric energy transmissions, right? Just pause it and see this, literally. But yeah, high voltage electricity through wires that are not equipped to handle it. Some fire and damage would occur and the practice would not be safe or sensible. I'm getting some warning for you that... Uh, you need to move out from a place that you live in if there is some leakage within that place because if there's a high possibility of it uh, going 
uh, on fire basically house going on fire is what I'm getting interesting uh, the pillar of light is the energy tube of pure white light that connects the soul star chakra above your head and the earth star chakra beneath your feet the star of Isis will descend from above your soul star chakra pouring in grace light and healing power until it eventually flows like a river into your earth star chakra blessing the earth through the body the star of Isis, also known as Sirius, rests in the state of bliss, joy and has a soul presence of heart, great strength and stunning spiritual light. This is the consciousness seeking to manifest more fully in service through you now, beloved initiate. You are becoming more and more ready to sustain such high vibrations. If you pull the oracle of Lady of the Stars, we didn't, so let's not talk about that. But once you start this practice, you will get a sense of how often a sense of how often feels right for you uh, if you do it too often perhaps more than once a day you may feel light headed or ungrounded too hot or cranky hormonal or overheated inside out of balance emotionally and just not enjoying your practice moderation will lead you more quickly into success there are higher frequencies waiting to connect more consciously with you for spiritual enlightenment healing and guidance but you will need to prepare your energy field for the connection so the energy can flow without undue stress or strain on your body right so this practice can lead to a lot of light-headed energy or ungrounded energy or you could feel too hot or cranky hormonal or overheated inside out of balance okay so um, it is recommended that you attempt this practice no more than once per day or for several minutes at a time building up to however long feels right for you as you grow, you feel the light descending and the energy ascending more and more strongly in your physical body. At first, you may feel energy or you may not, and that is fine. The exercise will work and your awareness of it at a conscious level will grow with practice. You will also find that like a better internet connection, as you continue with the practice, your ability to be in conscious communication with your spiritual guidance to channel healing and other spiritual activities such as meditation will be stronger, clearer, easier and more powerful. Remember to have mercy if you are then using these abilities with others. They may not be used to the degree of electricity that is coming through you and you want to facilitate good, not cause harm to the person you are helping. Stay in your heart, don't be attached to being powerful and allow the divine Lady Isis to manage the power that flows from you to another by asking for her help in unconditional love. Right? So with this it's saying that there's a lot of power surging through you, right? With the divine ace that we see here, there's a lot of power that is coming through you by the divine Isis. And she wants to bring in this feminine energy into you through the light. She wants to bless you through the light, but it's for you to go through the darkness before you come out in the light okay and for coming out into the light you need to surrender a lot of frustrations that or beliefs that you hold about other people that are not true that are like delusional right and sometimes the the light of uh, other people could also blind you into believing some things that are not even true okay because you have dealt with so much gossip from your childhood that you have developed this distrust a very like huge distrust so it's important that you know i'm also getting that um you are meant to be the pillar of light in your social community, in your social circles, in your family, also in your business circles as well. Okay, you're meant to, I'm also getting expose other people for what they do with power. Okay, you're meant to expose such people. This is why you have met with so many people and you have such a, a position in life as a prince. You know, people see you as very charming. Is That is why you have the charm is to understand people's motives and to bring it out to light okay and not descend into the darkness okay because here at the bottom we have like um, there was this card that i saw that very much related with your reading and the, this is the this the brother in darkness overcoming negative energy with feminine power okay so this is also something mm -hmm. very very important for you that you need to um, overcome the negative energy of being um, this person in darkness the brother in darkness right very very important okay my love so i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope you got a lot out of it thank you so much for listening please let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this okay and let me know if you um, liked it okay um yes so thank you so much and peace my loves